300 FPS on something that can fit in a bag. How's that even possible? Let's find out, shall we? So today we're gonna to be having a look at the MSI GE66 gaming laptop. RGB, sexy, fits in your bag, plays just about anything you can throw at it. Man, is there a lot to talk about right now. But let's get into more detail with it on my desk so we can go through everything this laptop has to offer. So with the laptop on the desk, the first thing you do notice is the RGB light bar in front of the laptop. It is absolutely stunning to look at. It's really something you see for the first time and it catches your attention, it catches your eye. The colors, how bright it is, and the way that they incorporate it to work with the keyboard, that whatever effect you have on the keyboard, it kind of fades in, and then it, it goes with the light LED light bar on the front of the laptop, and it really is <laughs> something to look at in person. I don't think the camera will do it justice, but when you see this in person, or when you see this in a dark room, that I'm sure you've seen by the intro B-roll, clips it really is something that you go wow I've never seen something like this before on a laptop caught my attention straight away but let's talk about some specs what does the GE 66 have to offer well it comes with a core i7 10th generation from Intel it is an 8 core 16 thread processor more than enough power for pretty much any game out there right now on the market and this particular model I have has got the RTX 2070 Super in it so that is how it is able to achieve that 300 FPS mark in competitive games like CSGO and Fortnite uh, along with that incredible performance you can it's no there's no point in having 300 fps in the game if you can't see those 300 frames a second so that is why this model the g66 comes equipped with a 240 hertz refresh rate monitor as it stands out of the box so this is really the full gaming package when it comes to mobile gaming it's got 240 hertz monitor it's got an rtx 2070 super an i7 10th generation processor nvme ssd one terabyte storage rgb backlit keyboard need i go on the cherry on top of the ge66 is that it does come with a full 1080p wide angle webcam which you can use while live streaming because the laptop itself is more than capable of gaming and live streaming at the same time so you don't even need to worry about going and buying another webcam or attaching a webcam because it has a 1080p webcam webcam that comes included in a perfect world i would have ended with listing you all the amazing specs the sheer performance of this laptop the mind-boggling numbers the unstoppable productivity get anything done anywhere anytime but there are some caveats there has to be it's impossible to cram so much power and so much potential into something that's as thick as a book. So what are those caveats? Two things come to mind immediately. Number one, when gaming, 
because it is so thin and compact, it does get a bit noisy. I will game on it, I'll let it warm up, I'll let it be fully heat soaked and having the fans running at the normal speed they're on it while gaming and you guys can hear them. If you have headsets on, you won't hear them at all. Um, but while doing testing and having the games running in the background, you do notice the fans. But then again, to keep a eight core 16 thread processor and an RTX 2070 super cool, in this, I mean, there's no other ways but to have those fans working really hard to keep it all cool. And the other thing that comes with, the other caveat with so much performance crammed in such a small package is the power supply. So right here I have the power brick, I have it still plugged in because I'm gonna be gaming on this laptop. This is the power brick for a size comparison. It's not, unworldly of it but something I do notice is it is a little bit heavy because it does need to juice up this laptop so it can run at its full potential so that is something that you do need to keep in mind that when you are on the move and you definitely need to take a power supply with you if you're going away or you're going to be using the laptop for a full day and you need to keep it juiced up the power brick is quite a size but then again it will definitely still fill it in your bag and if you have the laptop in your bag plus the power supply and a few other things you're not even going to notice the difference between this and a normal little laptop power supply so you do need this to keep this beast juiced up but it is just something you need to remember that it does come with quite a hefty power supply that needs to be thrown in the bag with it but another thing about having such a full size laptop is the IO and man does the GE66 deliver when it comes to IO. So starting on the left side, we have a headphone microphone jack, USB-C port, uh, full size USB 3.0 port. On the back, we have the power connector, the full size HDMI port, RJ45 ethernet port, another USB type C connector and a mini display port. On the right side of the laptop, we have a full size USB port, uh, SD card reader and another USB 3.0 port. And the final piece to the puzzle which stood out for me is the battery. Now, something you need to keep in mind is with such powerful components in it, the battery will not be the strongest suit if you think about it but what the laptop does do really nicely is it actually cuts a lot of performance while on battery so that you still have your four or five hour long battery life during my testing and my thorough usage of the laptop on pure battery power while on youtube while updating games downloading launches going through twitter just doing normal not excessive gaming but just some general life productivity work i did manage to squeeze just over three hours on the battery which is actually really good considering how bright the screen gets and the performance behind it but it does underclock or lower clock the components to make sure that it does reach those longer battery hours if these components were running at full power on this battery, I don't think it would last nearly as long. So I'm playing right now, I don't have my headphones on. I'm just landing in Fortnite quickly. And... So I'm gonna sit as close as possible to the laptop so you guys can hear what the fans do sound like while the laptop is gaming. If you guys can hear it through the mic, it's really actually not that bad. For some reason, I remember it being a little bit worse, but I think maybe now I'm just used to it. You can definitely hear the fans, but then again, is it... I won't say it's actually louder than like a full-size desktop computer. But I think it's got like a little bit of a more of a high pitch sound and that's what makes it so noticeable. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer because this is what you've been waiting for. I promised you 300 FPS on a laptop. 
And good golly gosh, I will deliver on that promise. So right now, being in this house, we are peaking at over 300 FPS while on full 1080p resolution, we are on full 1080p resolution, uncapped FPS, and we are sitting at over 300 FPS on a laptop right now while playing and farming around. Look at what it looks like while gaming on this machine. It is absolutely, I don't know when last I saw Fortnite looking this stunning. Two locked on 240 FPS on 240 Hertz and I can throw this thing in my bag right now. I can take it to school. I can take it to a friend's house. I can take it to lands. If you got a small desk at home and you need to work, you're doing your homework, you need space, put, fold it, close it, throw it in, move it aside, do your homework, you're done with your homework, you wanna start gaming and working, pop it back open, I switched it off now, but anyway. Switch it back on, carry on gaming, pop it open, and it's easy as that. There we go, and we're back to gaming. Just like that, on 200, and I just put this machine to sleep. This machine was on sleep. I was able to put the machine to sleep, to open it back up, and reconnect and carry on playing Fortnite before Fortnite even kicked me out of the game. That just shows how quick and snappy this machine is. It literally took seconds from going from it being on sleep to fully gaming right now. That is incredible. Long gone are the days where we can no longer commit to a gaming laptop and people can turn around and say, yeah, but full size desktops are the only way to go. There we have it, 1080p, 240 hertz, 240 FPS, locked on all the time, constant. And the only drawback is a little bit of a fan noise that if you have earphones on or headphones, you won't even notice it at all. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the MSI GE66 with the RTX 2070 Super and the 10th generation i7. In the beginning of this video, I promised you 300 FPS in-game and boy, did it deliver. We saw almost 400 FPS in Fortnite in full 1080p gaming with competitive settings on. What a machine, what a monster. This laptop will probably keep up with my desktop, my full-size desktop machine in raw performance, in, especially when it comes to gaming. It's an absolute monster of a machine. So big thank you to MSI for sending me this laptop to review. I'm unplugging it right now. So there, that's what I was talking about, how it underclocks the performance. After unplugging it, it does drop to 30 FPS in game, um, just so it saves that battery power and the graphics card and the CPU don't run at absolute maximum performance and completely kill the uh, battery life on this laptop. So having it unplugged, you can't really game on it. I don't know if there's some settings I can maybe change in Windows that will say allow full performance so that you can get your full performance out of the laptop while on battery power but i can pretty much take a educated guess that running this laptop on battery at full capacity you're going to be gaming for like half an hour 40 minutes so again, thank you so much to MSI for sending me the GE66 to have a review on it. It really is the way forward when it comes to mobile gaming. It's got everything you want in an absolute form factor and a size you can definitely manage. 
So I am standing behind the laptop right now, so I just want to show you guys some really cool RGB features that are I really enjoyed. For one is when you use the function key. Now, most people know about a function key, especially if you've been a long time laptop user, that when you press your function key, it then you have alternate functions on the keyboard, whether it's to increase your screen brightness or your volume and so forth. But what's really cool about this is when you're holding the function key, it actually lights up the keys that have a function attached to it. So for example, if you press the function key, you can then see, all right, so he has brightness up and down, he has volume up and down with your mute key. And then there's all of your quick toggle keys, whether you wanna go into aeroplane mode, um, your keyboard settings, your keyboard brightness, whether you want your keyboard more or less bright, and the RGB lights on front of it, and all that. So that is a really nice feature I do like. I actually dimmed it down quite a bit now, just brighten it up. So there we go. So that is a very nice feature, pressing that function key and it lights up the keys that you actually have a function attached to it. So I'm gonna go through some of the laptop's lighting effects because it does have per key uh, let's RGB keyboard which you can go into the software and then customize each key to whatever you want what color you want it and save your own cool custom profiles but we're not going to do that right now let's just see what comes default on the software so the light bar and the keyboard are controlled differently if you put the keyboard and the light bar in the same effect they should shrink up so let's do dragon shield on both of them and let's see if they do sync up and there we go they are both synced up to what's happening on the laptop so i'm just going to try and quickly hotkey through all the keyboard so that's the out of the box setting that's that dragon breath that's the wave. Ooh, that's a little disco party happening there. We have the freeway with the macaw. Very nice. So these are the RGB effects that come preloaded onto the laptop. I'm going to be doing a quick typing test so you guys can hear what the keyboard sounds like. It sounds pretty much just like any other laptop keyboard, if that makes sense if you've ever heard or felt a laptop keyboard before. Nothing that really springs to mind, but it is very quiet. So there you have it, that is what the laptop sounds like. The trackpad feels normal. Nothing really fancy in terms of the keyboard or the trackpad, it's just like any other I've really used before in the past, I guess the job done. But that's not the main focus part of the laptop. The main focus part of this laptop was squeezing as much performance as it possibly could in such a little form factor. I will say that the key stabilization is really good on this so if even if you press like the utmost corner of a key it still registers and doesn't flex the key the whole key goes down even when pressing the last little bit of the corner the whole key goes down and registers so that is very nice a nice little other touch is they have a uh, a bump so you know how there's always a bump on the F and the J keys there's also a little bump on the W key which just kind of like adds to that little gamer vibe so you always know when, when you're always resting on WASD you always know where that W key is because of the bump nice little gamer touch there as this thing is oriented towards gamers so let's do a quick unboxing. The laptop is unboxed, but hear me out. I was too excited to get the laptop out and, and open a game because when I heard that a laptop can do 300 FPS, I, I couldn't believe it. Like I, I had to pull it out the box and open a game and see what happens. But when you do get the box, you get a bag inside of it. You get an MSI laptop bag. Why is this here? Nah. So you get the MSI laptop bag. It's just a normal MSI laptop backpack. It is very nice. I'm not gonna worry about that. So this is the front side. That's just a plain black backpack, laptop backpack 
with the MSI logos on it. It's quite heavy. So I'm assuming there's a lot of padding in there. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the laptop. But also then you get the box. This is the box that comes in. When you open the box, you are immediately greeted by the laptop and the power supply. And that's pretty much all sure. So it's not really worth the full unboxing. Um, experience because you open the box you see the laptop and you pull out the power supply and that's pretty much all she wrote so there we have it ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed my little review of the msi ge 66 let me know if you think a gaming laptop would suit your needs the best whether you are a student at a university whether you still go to school whether you're someone that moves around a lot someone that needs to be able to take something with them wherever they go and know that they will be able to keep up with pretty much anybody in the room when they pull this laptop out it doesn't even matter if they have a desktop but anyway guys thank you so much for watching the video i will catch you all out in the next one until then i'm out you guys